Spooky mates of YouTube, Marcel from Aussie Horror here, and in today's video, tonight's video I should say, I'm going to be recommending a couple of movies, horror movies, to watch during the Christmas season, and my case for it. So if that sounds good to you, let's get into the video. So, horror movies during Christmas. You might be thinking to yourself, well, Nightmare Before Christmas, obviously. That movie's perfect and appropriate for both Halloween and for Christmas, but that's such an obvious pick. It's way too obvious of a pick. So rather than talk about Halloween Town and Jack Skellington and that fantastic movie, I'm going to make a couple of recommendations that aren't A Nightmare Before Christmas and why I think you should watch them during the festive season. So my first pick is the Evil Dead trilogy, but not just the Evil Dead trilogy itself, more specifically Army of Darkness. Evil Dead 1 is a little too grim, a little too serious to be watched during the Christmas time. It's too gory, too dark, too scary, let's say. Evil Dead 2, you could make a case to watch Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn uh, as, a, as a Christmas movie because it's just silly enough to make it work, you know what I mean? You've got that time travel subplot at the end of the movie and I just think that if you're going to watch a horror movie, at the Christmas time. It's got to be a little goofy, it's got to be a little serious, it can't take itself too seriously if that makes sense to you. Evil Dead 1 takes itself a little too seriously even though it's kind of like a goofy movie with some really dark humour in it but the real, the, the real shining star of this is Army of Darkness because it isn't even a horror movie, it's like an action adventure comedy with a light sprinkling of horror on top of it. And I know families, I personally know families that watch the Indiana Jones movies during Christmas and if you can watch an Indiana Jones movie for Christmas, you can absolutely watch Army of Darkness. I mean, it's an adventure movie, it's got fun characters, it's got, an, it's got a quest in it, even though it's got some horror themes in it and it's kind of a bit of a throwback to Jason and the Argonauts, King Kong and a lot of the old vintage old school adventure movies and some of the old school horror movies as well it still functions so perfectly as a Christmas movie not only that but it has daddy Bruce Bruce Campbell the most handsome man who have ever lived in the movie and anything involving Bruce Campbell you can just watch during Christmas time and I think it's perfectly appropriate these horror movies are Evil Dead 2 to a lesser extent but definitely Army of Darkness when you're thinking of Christmas time, it's like a grand season, it's a grand occasion and the quest and the adventuring in Army of Darkness is grand and it perfectly suits the mood of Christmas. In saying all of that though, I could absolutely watch Army of Darkness at any point of the year and be happy that I'm watching Army of Darkness, so take my opinion with a grain of salt. I'm just one man and I'm talking about my love for Army of Darkness, but I will absolutely die on the hill that it should be a Christmas movie. Next up, and this one probably makes a little more sense to a lot of you, is 1931's Dracula by Todd Browning and 1931's Frankenstein by James Whale. When you think of Christmas movies in particular, you're imagining probably some older movies anyway, like A Christmas Story. And when you think of Christmas, you think of a white Christmas winter. Here in Australia, it's generally stinking hot during the, <laughs> during the Christmas time. But in the Northern Hemisphere, you've got cold Christmases, it's winter time. You've got the winter solstice coming up. And so, I think that old school horror movies in particular, the black and white ones from the 30s, 40s and 50s, these are super appropriate to be watched during the Christmas time. There's nothing better than sitting down in the cold weather snuggling up to a partner with a nice blanket over the top of you and watching an old horror movie. If that doesn't scream Christmas to you, I don't know what does. 1931's Dracula with Bela Lugosi is already an iconic movie. It's got this dark, rich, beautiful atmosphere to it. There's this hint of melancholy throughout the whole entire movie as well. Probably because of the score as well with the Swan Lake theme and all of that. But James Whale's Frankenstein is also a sad movie at heart. And I think a lot of people are actually sad around Christmas time and watching old school horror movies is bound to cheer you up. Especially if you're on my channel, if you're watching my videos, I think watching an old school horror movie, in particular the Universal Classics, is probably a great decision for the Christmas time. And finally, my last recommendation, at least for now, is Gremlins from 1984 by Joe Dante. Gremlins is set during Christmas time. 
it's an obvious pick, but it's not so obvious that you're not going to immediately think of Gremlins. When you think of Christmas time and Christmas movies, you're going to think of a Muppets Christmas, you're thinking of a Christmas story, you're thinking of Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase. So why not add Gremlins to your list of horror movies to watch during the Christmas season? Now, just because it's marketed towards kids doesn't mean it's any less horrific. When I was a kid growing up, Gremlins scared the pants off of so many kids I knew. And I was already watching like Friday the 13th and stuff like that. So I or, I was like pretty critical of Gremlins when I was a kid growing up because I was just like, it's barely a horror movie. It's like baby's first horror movie, even though it's iconic and a classic. And I can completely understand that all the kids that weren't instantly desensitized to horror movies, I can understand why they were scared shitless of Gremlins. But if we're being realistic, it is absolutely a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas horror movie. The story of Gizmo, it's just a beautiful family tale. And I think if any of these movies are actually seriously Christmas movies, it's absolutely Gremlins. Even the sequel to Gremlins is worth watching and is an appropriate Christmas movie. There's nothing that'll get you into the family spirit like a Gremlins movie will. And especially nowadays with kids being more aware than when I was a child. I think it's definitely more suitable to a younger audience nowadays than it was at the time. Back in the day, there was something about it that was adult, let's say, even though it was marketed towards kids. But kids nowadays, they're in a different world. They're on TikTok, they're on YouTube every single day. So they're seeing the real world. And a movie like Gremlins is going to come across as cute in a way that it may not have back in the day. So I absolutely recommend Gremlins as a beautiful family movie, family horror movie going forwards. So if you've got any personal picks for horror movies that you watch around Christmas, drop it in the comments below. I really want to hear what you guys have to say. And until the next video, my name is Marcel from Aussie Horror and I'll catch you guys around.